Hey guys, it's Drew here. Uh, today we're going to talk about the parts of a car uh, and uh, what what's where on a 1997 Chevy Tahoe, but you can also figure this out on other vehicles if, uh, if you pay attention here. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. And we'll talk about parts of the engine here, things you need to check on a regular basis. All right, so number one, uh, you want to check around here. This is the engine coolant. Um, on some models it's orange and some models it's green. If it's orange, you have something called Dex Cool in there. Uh, that's a mixture of water. So uh, you obviously want to make sure that the reservoir is full. You never really want to check under this cap um, if, if the car is hot. You want to wait a long time uh, because if you open that up while your car is hot, if you're pulled over on the road, it can just spit out in your face. So that's really dangerous. So um, if you're ever low on coolant, don't check it while the car is hot. You want to check it when the car's been sitting for quite some time. All right, so next we're going to move on over here. This big box here is your air filter. I'm going to go ahead and open that up and show you what's inside. Let me get that sucker open here. Sometimes it's tricky. There we go. Okay, so this is actually a special air filter I have. It's called a K&N air filter. And uh, it's kind you can take out and actually hose off, and then you respray it with a special oil. Um, you know, it's it's pretty expensive. You can get them at an auto parts store. They're not that bad. Um, I ref definitely recommend these. They're much more high quality, and you only need one for like 100,000 miles in the car for the lifetime of the vehicle. Um, otherwise, you end up paying like 10 or $15 to get the paper air filters over and over again. So there's your intake and things like that. Sometimes if you have trouble starting your car, this hose right here can actually be loose. <clears throat> I had a mechanic that worked on my car and he forgot to tighten that. He didn't do it on purpose, but that hose was loose. So we're going to put that down. That's the air filter. Um, you want to make sure that's clean. That can also affect your gas mileage as well as other things. So you, you definitely want to have a clean air filter. Um, all right, so here's your engine oil. Um, you know, like I said, most of these are obvious to some people. Uh, this video might be for a beginner, or if you just want to know where stuff is in your Tahoe. So you pull the dipstick out, you check it with a rag, and you put it back in. You want to make sure it's at level, obviously. Um, I'll go ahead and pull it out. I don't have a rag with me. But, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, there's them. See where the little notches are there? Let's see if we can focus in on it. There's little crisscrosses on there. There they are. So if it's below that line that says add, uh, you want to make sure you put some engine oil on. So you don't want to check engine oil on a regular basis because if you don't have engine oil in there, if it's real dirty, um, your car can run pretty bad. Okay, so over here, we're also going to come to the transmission oil. Now, to check this, you're going to want the engine running. You're going to want to clean it out. I don't, the car's not running, so I'm not going to do it right now. That's a, It's also a dipstick. This is only on, um, you know, early, mid-90s models of cars. Um, you want to check it while it's running. You want to wipe it off. It's a, the transmission fluid is a reddish color. So if you're ever leaking a red fluid from your car, it's almost all the time transmission fluid. Um, on newer model cars in, in the mid 2000s, uh, there's no way to really check your transmission fluid other than taking it into uh, an oil change shop. That's pretty awful, but I guess they, they seal off the transmission. Um, so yeah, but anyway, but uh, you want to you know check that on a regular basis. The best way to check your transmission fluid is while the car's running on a flat surface, and you're gonna want to put the car in park, drive, and then let go, and then put it back. So it kind of goes through each each uh, year. This right here is where your brake fluid goes. Um, I guess I can open it up for you guys. Okay, there's a little seal on there actually. You want to make sure that seal's in place. It doesn't really matter. But if you ever you know have a loss of brake pressure or power, um, it can actually be because that is low on brake fluid or you're leaking brake fluid. So, you know, and you definitely want to make sure when you take this top off that you put it back on right uh, and seal it right because if you don't, just like that, you won't have full pressure applied when you hit the brakes. I'll fix it after I'm done talking about this video. But uh, this is also, this is your master cylinder here. Um, you know, there's a lot of jokes about mechanics telling you you automatically need a master cylinder repaired. That can be very expensive. I'm not really sure exactly what the symptoms of that are. Um, I wouldn't say Chevy Tahoes really have a lot of problems with their master cylinders. So usually it's an issue with the uh, brake fluid leaking or brake line leaking. These are your brake lines right here. Of course, they run all the way out through the, through the car. Um, this is your power steering fluid. That is something you also want to check on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, it's pretty decent. Um, 
sometimes it, it's always going to be a burnt color. <laughs> a lot, I saw some videos about, uh, you know, people saying, oh, your power steering fluid smells burnt. Well, it's supposed to smell burnt. <laughs> but you do want to make sure there's plenty in there and check that. And like I said, on various cars, it's in different places. They're usually labeled. Um, this is washer fluid. It's not a necessity at all. In fact, I believe mine is empty. But uh, that little yellow, well, I don't know if it's empty. The little yellow floating thing is actually where it shows how high the fluid is. Um, so then uh, this is where you would add engine oil if you need to add it. If you're not going to a shop or anything, you'd undo this cap here. Let's go ahead and undo it just to show you. Um, yeah, so you put a funnel in here or you can just pour it in yourself. You don't want to spill though. If you spill down here on the manifold, which I have done, this is your engine manifold, uh, it's going to smoke a little bit. So you definitely don't want to spill on this, but I've done it before. Uh, these are your manifold. That en ends out going out towards the exhaust there. Um, so anyway, these are the basic things you want to check on your vehicle. Uh, on different cars, they're in different places, but uh, you know, we'll just finish showing you about Tahoe here. This right here on the Chevy Tahoe is your AC compressor. Um, it's hooked up to a serpentine belt and uh, you can tell it's the AC compressor because this is, these are your AC hoses here. This is the, um, one of these is intake and one of them's outtake for uh, AC recharge and things like that. I'll have to look that up. I'm not an AC pro, but uh, you can kind of see and trace where the hose goes through here all the way down. Um, yeah, so anyway, then you got your battery and your battery terminals. Uh, I talked about those in another video. Um, and this is your alternator. also talked about that in one of my other videos if you want to check it out. Uh, that's That alternator charges your battery up. Uh, so when you get down further down here, in the middle, hooked up to this fan here, that center um, thing, the actual thing that's bolted in the fan, that's the water pump. The fan is hooked into the water pump. And, uh, you know, sometimes that'll leak if you've got coolant leaks, things like that. Um, this is one right here that was a little tricky. I had an issue with that. It's called the uh, quick release hose. I had one of those rust off and break, and I had a coolant leak on there a while back. And, uh, you know, a lot of somebody tried to tell me it was my head gasket at the time when it was just this. This commonly goes bad on a Tahoe, it'll just rust out for some reason. Um, so uh, this is the AC dryer here. I'm not really sure exactly what it does, but it's a part of the air conditioner. You can see that kind of hose there where the AC is. Um, so I think I went over pretty much most of the stuff. You know, if you want to check fluids on a regular basis, you got your oil, your transmission fluid, your power steering fluid, your brake fluid, um, and then, uh, you know, washer fluid, which really doesn't count, but. <laughs> So I uh, hope this guy helps you guys know a little bit about Chevy Tahoe and, uh, or, or any other car brand. Like I said, on most car brands you look around, an alternator pretty much looks the same on all cars. Uh, so your AC compressor, you can also see, it'll always be hooked into these. Some, some of it's on top, some of it's on the bottom. Uh, that is what I like about Chevy Tahoes. The engine's really wide open, and you can get to stuff pretty easy in this thing. So it's a, nice to have, you know, if you need to repair something. Um, this is your main radiator hose here. Um, you know, you want to make sure that's very tight right there. This gets very, very hot. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, uh, like my videos, uh, subscribe, and, uh, you know, I hope, hope this shows you guys a little bit around a Chevy Tahoe engine. Um, and if you're troubleshooting or if you see a leak coming from something, then maybe you'll know what it is. But remember your colors. Engine oil is obviously dark black or brownish. Uh, coolant is going to be either orange or green. Um, Windshield wiper fluid is going to be blue. Brake fluid is going to be a brownish color. Um, power steering fluid is also going to be a brownish color. Um, so yeah, just get to know your colors. Like I said, the two main ones to know are coolant and transmission fluid. And you can smell coolant. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, you know, like I said, click on some ads or watch some of the. Uh, don't hit that skip button when you see a uh, commercial pop up. That helps me post more videos and get more revenue. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a good one.